Hi everyone, I've got another soap review video for you today and believe it or not this is the very last bar of my beginner soap making recipe that I put on my beginner video <laughs> over two years ago now. I didn't even know I had one of these bars left but I found one. I actually already filmed a review of this soap but I did it with my GoPro and it kind of did make me feel a little bit dizzy as well as some of you so I decided to film all of my future review videos with a fixed camera now. So this soap has been used but I'm going to review it again so you can see. Now this soap has been in storage in my soap cupboard for two years, over two years, probably about two and a half years. There's no discoloration. There's no dreaded orange spots. There is nothing wrong with this soap at all. You can see that the lavender buds that I put on the top, they've kind of gone all brown and a bit yucky looking, but that's what happens with botanicals, especially after a couple of years. They're definitely gonna lose their color. Um, but aside from that, this soap is brilliant. It's quite hard. Um, it was a 95% olive oil and 5% coconut oil soap, so really, you know, it's very close to a true Castile soap. Some people would call this a Bastille soap because it has a little bit of something else other than olive oil. Um, but yeah, it's a really lovely soap. Um, this recipe had a really low water amount, so I used a 40% lye concentration lye solution for this recipe which is about 19 percent water as a percentage of oils so that just gives you an idea of how low the water amount was in this recipe but low water soaps i find they do keep very well you know whoops this soap is two and a half years old and there's no spoilage whatsoever it's really good the other thing is this recipe used a pretty low super fat so that does help the soap to last because there's not so much excess unsaponified oil in the recipe. Uh, if you have a really high super fat, that can be lovely and conditioning in your soaps, but it can make soaps more prone to spoilage. So anyway, I've talked enough. Let's review this soap. Let's have a look at the lather. The lavender scent is still there. I should just say that the scent, let me have a yeah, you can still smell the lavender essential oil. It's not super strong, but you wouldn't expect it to be really strong after two years. <laughs> that would be a pretty amazing thing. All right, here we go for the lather test. It does have that classic slimy feel of an olive oil soap, but look at that lather. A bit more water. Oh, that feels so good. Not bad. So there you go. There's a two and a half year old, 95% olive oil soap. My beginner tutorial soap recipe. This is exactly the same soap from that batch. This is the very last bar. Um, it's a wonderful, gentle olive oil soap. Lots of people have really loved that recipe. Um, and I would say that's still a winner. Beautiful soap. Now, the last soap review video I did, a lot of you commented on how great it was. I did the sink washing test, so I'll do that again. Just to show you. It doesn't really matter what oils you use to make your soap, but all handmade soap is quite good at cleaning. So I'm gonna give my sink a bit of a clean here, just to show you this old soap still does a beautiful job. Last time I did this, use this video, some people asked me what this cloth was. This is just a little scrubby cloth that I got from Daiso, which is the Japanese, it's like a $2 shop, dollar shop from, um, but it's all Japanese stuff. There's a few of them in Brisbane. I don't know if there are Daisos in other parts of the world, but um, there are a few of them here in Brisbane and they're quite good for little things like that. 
I do, do also have um, other cloths that I use, but this is just a good little scrubby. Look at that lather. That's amazing. Ah, oh, so good. I'm always trying to explain to people that even when you have a soap recipe with a low cleansing value in soap cup, it's still soap. <laughs> Um, it's still soap, it still cleans, and look how shiny that sink is. Um, olive oil soap, as you know, it's probably my favourite. Um, I'm really looking forward to, in future, because I'm going to have a lot more time for this channel next year, which I'm very excited about, um, I'm going to do some soap videos with all sorts of oils. I know uh, a lot of people use canola and soybean oil and all kinds of oils for the soap making so I'm going to explore that all a lot more but anyway that's it that's the beginner recipe two and a half years later still a really good soap oops I nearly forgot again I forgot to say how the soap makes your skin feel I did that in the last video too it feels great it's 95% olive oil there's no tightness or drying feeling on my skin with this soap. Now we've all got different skin and some people um, you know don't need an olive oil soap but uh, some people find it really helpful. Um, you've probably all seen the 100% coconut oil soap that I did uh, recently, the one that I mixed in a whisk. That has been so popular and that is a beautiful soap. I've actually got a little bit of it here, I'm still using it. That's a great soap too, but it does leave my skin a little bit dry feeling, whereas the olive oil soap, it doesn't. It's just, it's just got a quite a different feel to it. Anyway, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.